In this video, we'll look at the net ionic equation for NaCl plus CuSO4, sodium chloride plus copper 2 sulfate. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we do need to balance the molecular equation. I can see that there are two sodium atoms here and just one here. Let's put a 2 in front of the NaCl. When we do that, we have two sodiums, two sodiums, chlorines, two chlorines here and here, and everything else is balanced. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Sodium compounds, very soluble. AQ, dissolve, split apart into the ions. Copper sulfate, sulfates in general, very soluble. This is going to be aqueous as well. We have another sodium compound, that'll be aqueous. And then chlorides, very soluble. So you'll notice right away, everything is aqueous. What that means is everything is broken apart into its ions. We start out with these ions here. We end up with the same ions. Everything we can classify as spectator ions, and we would cross those out in a net ionic equation. Since they're the same on both sides, we cross them out. Nothing's left. We have no reaction. So nothing has changed. Think of it this way. You start out with all of these ions in a beaker, and you end up with the same ions floating around in the water in the beaker when you're done. Nothing's changed, so there's no reaction. This is Dr. B looking at the net ionic equation for NaCl plus CuSO4. There isn't a net ionic equation because there's no reaction. Thanks for watching.